hear him gasping. He's working hard. He's doing it. All right, so. Hey guys, Mark McKillie with Live Anabolic and I have a fantastic at-home cardio workout for you guys today. So stick around because I have a fantastic guest who's going to step through this with me and then give you her opinions on some fantastic exercises. All right, you guys are sick of seeing just me in every single video. That's why I have Laura with us here today. She's a 41-year-old mother of three kids. She's in fantastic shape and she's competed on stage before. So she really knows her stuff. And the other reason I like having a female here is not just because she's better looking than I am, but because she brings a completely different perspective to a lot of these workouts. And so today, okay, it's cardio day, right? Yes. And we're gonna be doing it, you know, right exactly. here in this little den. We're not out running around a track or going up and down mountains and all that kind of stuff. Right. So she and I have come up with a really kind of creative workout for you guys today. But first I wanna to talk to you, just genuinely speaking, how, how do you view cardio just generally speaking? In general, um, cardio is important, but I've learned just from personal experience that HIIT training is where it's at. Um, you're gonna burn a lot more fat a lot quicker than you would running at a long distance or for a long period of time. Plus that's boring. HIIT yep. training is so fun. Yep. Um, but I can speak from personal experience in that I went from 17% body fat down to 14% body, body fat in two months. Um, and that's all I changed was my HIIT training. I stopped running on a treadmill for an hour and I do about 30 minutes of HIIT training along with my weight training. And, and just one thing just kind of along those same lines is just generally speaking from my experience I've seen that that women enjoy long, boring, steady state cardio, i.e. jogging, more so than guys do. I think, generally speaking, guys hate cardio because they think I gotta go out and run five miles and it's just boring. Yeah. And I think, on, and generally speaking, women kind of embrace that kind of mentality more than guys do. Because it's not... an hour away from our kids. <laughs> <laughs> so the longer, the better. <laughs> that may, that's, oh, I never thought about it that way. That's a very good point. So, so we're not going to do that today, guys. So this is not cardio per se. Excuse me. This is not steady state cardio. Okay, so steady state cardio where you're just kind of jogging along slowly, that's called aerobic exercise. Aerobic means with oxygen. It basically means your muscles are getting enough oxygen to keep up with the demands that you're putting on it. So we're going to do anaerobic all right, not enough oxygen, which means you're going to get fatigued pretty quick. All right, your muscles are demanding more oxygen than your lungs can provide, and they're simply just going to give out. Okay, now it depends on how hard we're pushing it. Sometimes they give out in 30 seconds, sometimes they give out in you know two minutes, but you can't do 30 minutes of this type of exercise that we're going to show you today. All right, so we put together a workout that consists of four different exercises. Now, I want you to do these in a circuit training style format, which means I want you to go from one exercise directly to the next one with absolutely no rest, okay? So the four exercises are air squats, jumping jacks, then you're gonna get down the ground and do mountain climbers, then you're gonna stand back up and finish off with high knees. Now, Laura's gonna show you the form here in a minute, and she's gonna be going through, okay, from exercise to exercise without stopping. So she's gonna be out of breath, which means I'm gonna to have to talk for her, <laughs> okay? So I'm gonna explain what she's doing as she's doing it. Now, we're gonna do it in circuit training for format, which means when you do the air squats, the very first exercise, I want you to do 15 of them, okay? Then you're gonna do 30 jumping jacks, all right? And then no rest, get on the ground, and I want you to do 20 mountain climbers, which is 10 on each side, and then you gotta pop back up, and I want you to do 50 high knees. So one, two, three, except you're gonna get those knees high. 50 of those. At the end of the high knees, you're gonna be exhausted, you're gonna be gassed. Thank you, Mark, you can stop and rest, all right? Now, I want you to keep the rest at the end of the circuit relatively short. I don't want you resting for five or 10 minutes. I just want you to catch your breath before you do this again because I want you guys doing 
three circuits, all right? So one to two minutes rest at the end of the circuit, but zero rest in between each exercise. You ready for this? I'm ready. All right, get going, girl. All right, so she's starting off with the air squat. She's gonna be doing 15 of these before she moves, moves on to the jumping jacks. Now, the reason I like doing high intensity interval training, which is what we're doing here. Okay, guys, she's gonna really be gassed at the end of this. It's because it creates something called the EPOC effect, E-P-O-C. Now that stands for excess post-exercise oxygen consumption, all right? Now, it's a, I know it's a, it's, it's a long term, so you can think of it basically like the afterburn effect. So what that means is that after she's finished doing her three circuits today, she will be so gassed, she will have gotten her heart rate so high that it will create an afterburn effect. It means she will raise her resting metabolism rate higher throughout the next several hours, which means she will continue to burn more calories than she normally would if she had done just a plain Jane steady state cardio workout, okay? So that's why I think high intensity interval training is really effective for us guys. It burns a whole lot of calories once you're done, all right? But you burn more calories per minute exercising because it's so intense, all right? So instead of just going out and doing a nice, slow, boring jog, okay, I want you guys to push yourself really hard, okay, like Laurie is right now. So she's getting near the very end. She's doing her high knees. That's the fourth exercise, the last, okay, of this circuit. And she's in great shape, all right, because when I do it here in a minute, I'm going to be gassed, all right? So I'm speaking on her behalf right now, okay, because she's probably... A little Her tired? It's really high. Okay, all right, but she's in, she's in really good shape. She's in better cardio shape than I am. And you're going to notice that in a minute when I have to go through and do this, all right, guys? But it's a very effective way to get in a fantastic workout in a really short amount of time. And I know you guys are busy. You don't want to go out and, and do 45 minutes, you know, walking or running or whatever it is. We can really get a lot done in just about 10 to 15 minutes of high intensity training. All right, guys, so it's Mark's turn, <laughs> and I'm going to be watching him and improvising and making sure that his form is right on. I have a whip in my back pocket here, so <laughs> get started. All right, here we go. 15. <laughs> One, two, One thing that I wanted three, to mention about squats, um, just on a personal five, note, is two, you don't have to get your butt seven, on the floor. Um, eight, I have knee issues, and nine, so I don't go down quite eight, as low as Mark. But he's got really good form. He's engaging his glutes. I mean, 13, when he's putting his arms 40, up like this, he's in, engaging 50, his shoulders as well. One, two, three, four, five, Very six, good form with jumping seven, jacks. And this also five, works the shoulders and the arms, as well as the back. 15, 16, 17, 18, 20. Got to do 30. Let's go. You can do it. Don't give up. Six, 27, 28, 9, 30. Oh, mountain climbers. Oh my oh, gosh. Here we go. Climbers. One, two. And this is also three, just an overall four, good five, workout six, um, for the body, seven, all the body parts. Eight, um, I especially nine, like it for the shoulders. So you have to hold up your upper body with your one, shoulders. Three, four, six, seven, this is the hardest eight, one. They keep with it. You can do 12, it. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 20, 20, You can hear him gasp and he's working hard. He's doing it. All right, so. Woohoo! All right, that was. Now, the way I was counting, guys, <laughs> that was one, two, three, four, five on the high knees. So instead of counting to 50, I was just counting each time. My right knee came up. So 25. So I did 25. Same thing with the mountain climbers. I did 10 each side. And then jumping jacks, air squats are real straightforward because you're not alternating. But let me see here. We were talking earlier about heart rate and we were just curious how high our heart rate would jump. And I started at about 85 to 90 heart rate and I got up to 120. So, yeah, I got up to 129 
on my heart rate, but see how I'm breathing hard? Now I want you guys, don't let your breathing get all the way back down to normal. Don't let your heart rate drop back down to normal. All right, I want you still a little out of breath when you start that second and third circuit. So you can rest for a minute, two minutes max, okay? And then you need to do that circuit all over again. So I want you to do three circuits total. Now, this is something I want you guys to adjust according to your fitness level, okay? So there's, there's hundreds of thousands of people around the world watching these videos. Some of you guys are just starting out. You're overweight, three circuits, and the number of reps that I called out for you is perfect for you. Some of you guys are in much better shape, okay? So you guys that are in much better shape, I want you to do double the number of reps that we called out for you. And instead of doing three circuits, I want you to do five. All right, so these workouts are super simple to adjust according to your individual fitness level. All right, Laura, so what did you think about it? Was it easier or harder than you expected? A little bit harder than expected, but I really liked it. It got my heart rate up. Um, it didn't take very long. Um, I'm a mom of three kids, so my window of opportunity to exercise is very short. <laughs> um, so this is something I could easily do um, in between like meal prepping for my children, making lunches, cleaning, mm -hmm. um, just to take that little segment of time and, and hit my cardio. And she wasn't breathing nearly as hard as I was at the end of that. So, you know, I was giving you guys advice to adjust for your fitness level. So I would advise her to ramp this up and do more reps and more circuits, okay? Me, I could do more reps and more circuits also, but you could see that I was breathing a lot harder than she was. So guys, super effective way to get a lot done. You can do this while you're traveling in your hotel room. There is no excuse, guys, all right? She's got three kids, man. <laughs> She's got an eight-year-old and twin six-year-olds. If she can do it, you can do it. And remember, it ain't gonna happen overnight, which means you gotta stick with it and never give up on yourself.